When it comes to protection, the most reliable way to protect your project, your external devices is password. So in this video, we are going to talk how can you set password for your project or you can also control your external device with the help of this relay by setting up a password with the help of this keyboard. So we are going to see the interfacing of this keyboard with your Arduino Uno board and also with the LCD. So without wasting any time, let me de demonstrate what I am trying to say. So let's connect uh, the board with some juice. So here you can see, first you have to set the password. So let me set the password of 5 digit pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So set and locked. You have to press the password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then press A. You can see the click, unlock and also a green status LED. Now you, if you want to change the password, first you have to enter the correct password. One, then press C. Then you have to enter the new password. So today we are going to talk about this. So without wasting any time, let's jump to the component required and after the circuitry and then program. So here are the components which you need. The first one is obviously the Arduino Uno board. Second thing is LCD and a relay. The relay is totally according to your need. In this case, I'm going to use 5 volt and 10 amp relay. And it is required by you also to use a 5 volt relay because the output of Arduino knows 5 volt. Now the key ingredient in here is this keypad. So you can see here it has 4 rows and 4 columns. So 16 uh, keys are there, 4 cross 4 matrix keys are there. Now what is here that happening here that one line goes like this, another is this and uh, intersection, intersection of rows goes like this. Let me peel off the cover and let me show you what I am talking about. So actually you can stick it up, it is quite sticky. So you can see here what I am talking about. There are vertical and horizontal lines. So whenever you press the button this horizontal and vertical line meet up and a current pass through the um, wire and then according to that the board knows which position key is high or low you can see you can see here it also has eight one two three four five eight holes and eight wires are there which are going like this four for rows and four for, for column so that's why it is eight now let's move to the circuit the circuit is looking quite messy but you do not have to worry about because all this mess on the breadboard has been created by LCD so if you want to know how to connect the LCD and do the programming just go to the i button or check the description box below now let's jump to the connection so let me zoom in a bit so here you can see that I have also used two of the analog pin so you can connect your uh, keypad to analog or any other digital pin so I have connected random wires and let me connect uh, that uh, keyboard before that let me show you that first four wires are for row and the next four uh, uh, wires are for column so mind your rows and column otherwise you are going to create a, a mess so here is the connection so we have connected the keypad and also for the relay let me show you my relay so you can see here my relay has a switch and positive or negative and positive or negative I'm just using from my uno board and for switch I have using I am using pin 13 so all the things are going to be cleared in the programming section so first connect the relay here and next jump to the program to see how we have to select the pin and uh, do the program of this stuff and also connect this LCD and it's done so the circuit is quite simple although th these wires are looking very messy but it is not that typical to connect it is very simple so let's uh, jump to the programming section so here is the program so you do not have to worry I will provide you the link uh, in the description of this program and also the link of all the libraries required in the description box below 
and uh, if you find any of the problem you can directly contact me off on any of the social media handles all the links are in the description box below so without wasting any time let's look uh, to the program so first we are going to include the liquid crystal dot edge for our LCD display and we are defining the pin here and after that we are defining the rows and column of our keypad and after that we are assigning the intriser for LCD count and then count is equal to 1 for the for the loop which we are going to to uh, start running for the password and key identity and flag entity to store the password in our flag and after that temporary press is there the temporary press is there so that what we are going to do that uh, when we press A then uh, you see that the A is not appeared on the board what he was doing that it was jumping on the other statement so with the help of this temp press we are going to do that and here is the uh, int column scan so it is going to continuously scan the column so, so LCD begin we are beginning 16 cross 2 LCD which we are going to use we are using here the loop and we are calling set password the set part password is going to define here in, uh, in below so we are uh, interrelating this uh, loop for four times so that you can enter a five digit password so if you want to increase to six digit password what you have to do in, uh, change this four to five and then and here is the key scan so key scan is also a function which we are going to be defined um, down below and if key identity is equal to 1 check for the count and here we are going to do the basic count and here are the password match is there so you can see here flag match if flag is equal to 0 then it is correct and this is equal to 1 then it is incorrect so these are for the for the count and uh, if you look down here is the key scan so here we are going to scan the key by setting row 0 to high high and row ith row to low and here is the for loop uh, for our scanning the key again and again for the rows and column and here are the different uh, key which we are going to use so if your conf if your keyboard has different configuration so look at here 1 2 3 a then 4 5 6 then b then 7 8 9 then c so you can change here if your keyboard have different configuration so it's only depend upon the keyboard configuration and after that here is the program for checking the password so if the password match the flag 0 is going to return and otherwise flag 1 so this is the program i will link it in the description and also all the library required basically we are going to require only one library keypad.h which we are going to use in very beginning so i will just link it all in the description box below so let's upload this program to the board and let's see so as you can already see that i have done compiling but uh, let me show you that the program is actually working so again okay, done compiling no error so let's upload this program to our board so you have so you can see i have connected the board here so let me upload the program so it's uploading and you can see here the flashing of LED and it's uploaded now check the program whether it is working or not so here we are again so I'm going to light it up with a 9 volt power supply so here you can see here so backlight is not working I think something yes now it's working so let's set a pin of 5 digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Before that, let me tell you that A is for after you enter the password, you have to press A for password check. B is to know the status whether we are in a lock or unlock mode. C is to change the password, and D is also for checking whether we are in lock and unlock mode. Star and hash, you can also set it as a password. You cannot set this four keys as a password rest of them you can set them for key so the password is locked now press the password one two let me zoom in a bit okay one two three four five and press
so you can see here the click of let me show you again here I have also connected a LED all the pin uh, relay and LED has been connected from pin 13 once you download the program you will see that what is happening let's, let's reset the board here so let's enter the password once again one two three four five press a you do not have to press anything to set the password once you set the password you enter the password one two three four five then you have to press a for the password check so password is correct then press a to lock let's enter another password for the moment press a wrong password locked another password now if you have to change password what you have to do just have to enter the correct password press C enter new password so now you can enter new password so let's enter 5 stars 1 2 3 4 5 password set then 1 2 3 4 5 press A wrong password 1 2 3 4 5 so you can see again press A to lock so that's all for today so if you like this video support us by subscribing and check out our social media handles and thanks for watching and if you have any suggestion please feel free to comment down below and if you have any question regarding this project you can comment down below or you can check out any of the social media handle and message me there so thanks for watching once again